guys. Indonesia, not only at the start of a qualification for the FIBA Asia Cup, but on a cycle that will end with them hosting the World Cup in 2023. Here's the schedule on game day one for Group A. And also, as you can see, the four next fixtures. Indonesia playing two games at home. Here is the group with the world rankings. Korea and the Philippines at 30 and 31. That's going to be a crucial clash between those two. Indonesia looking to move up those FIBA rankings. And Thailand with a ranking of 105. We'll be looking to create some upsets in the qualifiers for this FIBA Asia Cup. Korea being introduced to the crowd. Interesting time for Korean men's national team basketball looking to build. Crucial that they start to get performances from uh, Hoon Hyo, uh, Hong Seok Yang. Those two in particular highlighted as the future, future leaders, should we say, of this Korean team. So much potential. And as Japan has proved the chance to make an impact on the world level is here. And Korea have the tools. And they've got to start building for the future as well. Indonesia introduced to the home crowd. Number one there, Derek as a hero. The two meter three player on a team that average height of 188. It's a long standing problem for Indonesia who haven't qualified for the final stages of a FIBA Continental Championship since 2011. But as I say, with the World Cup as a joint hosts with Japan and the Philippines on the horizon in 2023, it's a huge opportunity for Indonesian basketball to make some big strides forward. And it starts today, game day one of the FIBA Asia qualifiers. Now we'll have the national anthems of both countries, starting with Korea. And now the national anthem of Indonesia.
Well, it's always one of those moments that really underlines the importance of national team basketball. It really brings it home to, home to players, the emotion of playing for your country, as you can see on the face of all the guys during those at the national anthem, anthems. The third team on the floor, uh, crew chief Ryan Jones from New Zealand, Sayuki Arasawa from Japan, and Xiaoming Lyon from Singapore will take charge of this game day one clash in Group A of the Asia Cup qualifiers. While the challenge is always for Indonesia, take care of your, your own rebounds and you've got a chance. They're giving up size in every spot. Their ability to shoot the three ball is going to be crucial. But against the team ranked 30th in the FIBA rankings, it's going to be a tough ask. A tough ask for any team. But uh, obviously at home with the crowd behind them. And there is the future. Aguero. Just to see how much time he actually gets. Here's the starting lineup for Korea with uh, Eo. And uh, his performance at the guard spot is going to be crucial. They're going to have to see him grow into the role of floor general, the 24 year old. He's got to start stepping up, got to start just taking responsibility, being the leader on the floor. Well, these qualifiers are a great opportunity for him to start taking on that role, regardless of the opposition. Coach Sanction Kim. Always a pressure situation in Korea, being the head coach of the national team. Expectations always high. Drop the bronze in the 2017 Asia Cup. Korea, as we get a starting lineup, look at Indonesia. And the problems there for you to really see is uh, Rajashi, number 15. All two meters. Way, sorry, way under two meters. It's going to be the man holding things together for coach uh, Toriman, the Serbian head coach for Indonesia. As Indonesia, well, it's important they get, they start well. It's important that they really do get the shots they want, try and keep possession of the basketball. If this gets into an up and down type of game, I don't know if they have the weapons to compete with a vastly superior ranked team in Korea. But this is what this sport is all about. It's not played on, the, on paper, it's not played on rankings, it's played between two sets of guys on the floor and there's nothing to inspire players more than playing for your national team. So Korea with 29 medals at Continental Championships since 1963. Continental champion in 1997 when they won the gold medal and in 2017 with the bronze medalists the Asia Cup against a team that hasn't qualified for the final stages since 2011. But as I say, there's such a buzz around Indonesian basketball with a World Cup less than four years away. What an opportunity for a country to just expose and develop and try and grow their sport with a showpiece event that is the biggest basketball event in the world, in their country. So it might not be about results, it might not be about winning and losing in this qualification although coming third in the group gives you a chance the top two will auto automatically qualify the third place team from going to a final qualification stage for the final places in the 2021 championship Don't forget the Asia Basketball app. The Asia Cup app is available to download. All the information on all of these teams available to you whenever you want it. Get that information, get behind your team, and get right up to speed with the qualification phase. 
Well, welcome to Jakarta, wherever you're joining us from. Indonesia in the home whites and Korea in the blue. And Korea will get a first look at it in the half court. You're going to move it out for pick and roll. Indonesia are going to have to chase and scramble. Nice move to the hoop. Uh, we've got a foul on the plate. And Kim went up strong. They looked to run the back screen and uh, Indonesia did a nice job switching it, but then Kim just had a little bit too much. Has a chance to open the account for Korea from the free throw line. Doesn't take the first one. And that's the first point in Group A. The career up the floor. Trying to force Indonesia out of what they want to run. My post entry and the handoff. Two of the long three is no good. Defensive rebound pulled in by Lee. And Korea themselves will want to run. A very good up tempo. Foul line jump shot on the trail is good. Great execution on the break. The short roll gives Lee the chance to stroke the two. And the defense got caught. Sleeping in the keyway. Top one off the glass is no good. Great offensive rebound. Going to have a tied up ball. That'll stay with. Indonesia as Kosashi Koshashi came down with a rebound staggered screen and straight back Kashi on the, the pick and pop Open for three in the corner, he's good. Right at the bottom of the shot clock, and Caleb gets the three. And Indonesia off and running. I'm gonna love the crowd reaction. Stolen, living every pass, the crowd here. Nothing like national team basketball to do that. Baseline penetration in traffic off the glass is no good. The follow is good and one. Jin Kong Kim, who's gonna be a thorn in the side of this Indonesian defense, just powers over people. Cannot get the first one, but stays active. Gets the follow. And we'll go to the three throw line for the extra. Having a really solid season in the Korean League with DB Pomri. 15.4 points a game. It's normally a 77% free throw shooter from the line. And Struggled. Kim gets a piece of it. He's all over the stat line at the moment. Double touch. Thought they going to stay this way. Looked like a double touch to me, but uh, Song was uh, did a good job at selling the fact that he hadn't. Coach uh, Taruma not happy. He's going to need all the help he can get this evening. Whistle, offensive call. Treated as though the, club, the, the country had won the game from the crowd. They're into every single play at the moment. Offensive foul on, uh, on Du. Again, career up the floor. Wide open three is good. And Pratwawa is a little bit of a talisman for this team. The long two is off. Job on the glass as everybody boxed out. Tara pushes again in transition, looks to turn the corner, gives it up, and Indonesia will settle into the half court. Great first step, and one. Super first step. Didn't give the, cheat, the defense a chance to settle. 
quick first step on the move, caught it and just went hard. Foul is on uh, Hon Hu. And Indonesia with an unexpected early four point lead. The handoff. Hugh goes inside and there's going to be another foul. And this is going to be a regular feature. Konja Kim. There's the foul. <laughs> Penetration and kick. Extra pass knocked away, and that's. What you expect to see from Indonesian basketball? Good pers uh, penetration by Vincent. He kicked it. So Torres tried to make the pass, knocked out of bounds. Ten on the possession. In the lane, whistle on the play. And this is a really positive start. Garita puts it on the floor, gets a little contact, plays through it, gets fouled again. I'll get the two to go, but we'll go to the free throw line. And they called it on the second contact, so he's uh, in the act of shooting, so he's on the free throw line again. The Patriots Club and the program here in Indonesia is the base for the majority of this national team. As uh, Rahita. Abraham Gahita goes two for two from the line and Indonesia with a really pleasing 11-7 start, 6.40 to go in the first quarter. High pick and roll, Hio looks and re reverses wide open, three on the ball, reversal is short. Great offensive rebound, straight back up, can't get the drop, but on the third attempt, Song gets the two to go. The chance Song. Eagles club in Korea. The open three, no good. Great work on the glass. The ball will go to Korea as Mr. Torres went to work on the offensive boards. Couldn't control it. It's good to see. The old kicks open for three on the wing is good. Leon starting to create and still. Easy two goes back up for Song. And all the good work undone in two possessions as Korea take the 12-11 lead. Timeout on the floor. Indonesia want to talk about it. And you've got to say, I think, a good timeout as we get a replay of the open three before the steal. They cannot afford. Indonesia to get themselves into hot into a hole with back-to-back -back baskets against timeout coach Toleman he wants to talk it over last experienced Serbian coach 10 field goals for Korea that's gonna be a real factor in the game the ability for Indonesia to keep Korea to one shot is probably going to be a factor in deciding the way of the game. Because if the first four and a half minutes is anything to go by, it's going to be a long night on defense for Indonesia if they will not rebound. If they won't box out, they can't rebound. Uh, just get into jumping competitions. They're going to have to keep career off the glass by boxing out. Dominant start by, by Kim. Full court, they go long on the inbound. And Patawa 
gets the ball into the half court. Attacks it on the crossover. Great kick. Open three is short. Defensive rebound career. Have a chance to run with Do. Ball doesn't stick. Lee hands it off. Nice find on the flare for three. Is short. Tara comes down with a defensive rebound. Good early push. Broken up, and they'll be out of bounds, and the ball will stay with Indonesia. Nice push, they've just got to make better decisions. Raita and Otawa. Are going to have to control the decision-making in the backcourt for Indonesia. Long side inbound is good for two. And Dalita again converts. Step back three for Hio is long. And again, another offensive rebound. Battles through the contact off the glass for two is no good. Defensive rebound by Satoris. Prestawa gets it back. A little backcourt combination with uh, Galita. Already the focal point of most good things coming out of Indonesia at the moment. No space. And gets fouled. Threw up a prayer. It's the only way to describe it. And Kim looks a little confused. A little disappointed himself. But he watched this. He's going to come forward. And there's the foul. As he's moving forward. Lita does a nice job at drawing the contact. He'll go to the free throw line for three free throws. How long that backcourt combination can uh, keep going is going to be fundamental to how well Indonesia do in this game. That ties the score. We have a new ball game with 4.37 to go in the first. Tied at 14. Still only 20, 24, he'll be 27 years old come the World Cup. So you'd expect him to be a mainstay at the development that Indonesia are going to have to put in if they're going to make any waves at all in the, with the biggest and the best in world basketball. Indonesia up the floor themselves with 4.37 to go in quarter one. Kim will kick. Heel. For the high post entry. The help side is there, so there's no lob. Baseline penetration, whistle on the play. Song went hard to the baseline. Help came. Defensive structure is really good for Indonesia. There's no auto automatic lob. The help side is really doing a good job. You can see that uh, Prestawa on the help side. That no one dropped and rotated on the help, fortunately. Foul on the play by Caleb Kim Liang. A lot of traffic underneath, everything switched by Indonesia. That's a foul. Pulled offensive. Xiong Gan Let's take a look. See, so he puts himself in and hooks. So. You can see why the official called it that way. He initiated most of the contact. The smaller player switching gets you underneath the arm, underneath the shoulder. Can cause real havoc in a team's offensive rhythm. Stara comes off the screen, looks underneath, steps back for the long two. He's way short. Offensive rebound. Little finger roll is good for two. Oh, Wekasson gets the two. And Indonesia starting superbly. Heon goes inside, inside out. Step back for the three is no good. Ball's knocked away, doesn't go in. And the ball will go back to Indonesia. And they've just got to keep battling. Kim is a real handful on the glass. He'll look at the official and say, hey, I'm getting hit everywhere. Gets the rebound, tries to go back up, has it knocked away tries to tip it 
and then there's a lot of traffic and it's just a battle. Wishnu in the game. Aki Wishnu. Stawa steps back for a huge three. Short defensive rebound is pulled in by Lee. And Korea in transition. And that. Foul is called in transition. So both teams are in the penalty, so it will result in two free throws. Wakasol no picks up the personal and wasn't a pretty looking foul. Not really sure if there's a genuine attempt to play the ball or just a foul to stop the break, but regardless, Kyo on the free throw line. It was long with the first. Kyo starts at the point for the uh, Sonic Boom Club in Korea. Great name for the team, Sonic Boom. Imagine the t-shirts for the fans. Easily beat the press with the pass. Akudu goes long, gets it back. Oh, nice little ball fake. Everybody flies by. Penetration, nowhere to go. Needs a pass, turns it up. Val finds an open man, wide open for three. That's great ball movement. He's good for three. Three and a half thousand fans involved in every single one of those passes. Blocking foul going the other way as Lakutu picks up the personal. That'll be two free throws. Odianus Lakudu beat the press play before really easily. Picks up the personal going back the other way. 2.40 to go. to see if Kim tries to bank the free throw again. He's checking the banks were open at 7.20 local time here in Jakarta. Late night opening. May have to go to the cash point. Well, obviously the bank is the way he takes his free throws. Couldn't get the second. And Lakudu. Gets it into the half court. Korea forced to uh, switch it up a little defensively. A little frantic for Indonesia. They're staying with it though. Turn around jump shot is way short. Defensive rebound pulled in by Lee. Korea. I don't think they've just got to stay balanced. Blocking foul. And we'll go to the free throw line again. This time it's uh, Wasnu picks up the personal. Wasnu gets on the stat sheet for all the wrong reasons. Galita checks back in. As Caleb Jimilang steps out for Indonesia. Kim makes the first and makes the second goes to five personal could do in the half court try and go inside try and clear out this Side of the floor. Oh, nice little ball. Screen action. Torres just dived to the hole. The help side was absent. Silver <laughs> Moon picks up the personal. If you had said before the game that Indonesia would get a lot of success out of pick and roll action I would not have agreed with you at all Korea's defensive organization should be more than sufficient to deal with the 
the role of uh, Kevin Satoris. Good stroke from the free throw line. Two for two. And Indonesia tick it over and lead 23 to 18. Ray help. We'll talk about that in a moment, but that's the way to attack the ball from help. Lakudu has it. Falls over his own feet, but recovers. 12 on the possession, takes the high ball screen. Attacks it, tries to get a little angle off the glass. Super little finish. Adios Lakudu. I think you might be told that's a flop. Open three off the pass is no good. And Carrera one and out at the moment. Five on two break. Tremendous execution. Throws it to the corner. Ball movement coming out. Nice find. Super move off the glass is good for two. Wisnu gets it. That's transition basketball. That's 27 to 18 with 46 seconds to go. 27 first quarter points. The crowd loving every second of it. Penetration to the inside. With a wide open two is no good. Pulls out of bounds and will stay with Korea. Kim with the missed two. Fourteen second reset with just over 29 seconds to go. Kim is the release. Little handoff, the open three off the handoff is sweet. Super execution. Kim gets the three. Indonesia trying to hold for the last shot. Seven on the as time elapses to the corner. His new pulls up for the two. He's celebrating on the way back. Before he made it, gets a wide open look to finish the first quarter. A first quarter that has been a tremendous effort by Indonesia. There's confirmation of the half of the first quarter score. Indonesia with a 27 to 21 advantage over Korea at the end of one. Well, statistically. Indonesia shooting 56 and 43. The problem is they're going to have to shoot those numbers for the game 100% from the free throw line against a 56% from the free throw line for Korea. Free throws always at a premium. Korea shooting 29% from the three point line with a huge size advantage. They need to be a little bit more patient and they need to exploit the advantage they have. Great start for Indonesia. Home crowd right in this this was always going to be a factor get into the game early and get the home crowd excited and get them believing you have a chance to win the game and that's exactly what indonesia have done great first quarter for the home club great commitment by the fans they are 100 percent into this now they believe that their team their country has an opportunity to upset the number 30 30 ranked team in FIBA World Basketball. Well, the Asia 2021 official app. Download the games, get the highlights, follow the team, get all the news. I mean, there is so much news going on in Asia about the Asia Cup qualifiers. If you download the app from your normal source for free, there will not be a piece of information you will not have on how these qualifiers are developing, and you'll get all the highlights. And we've already had plenty of those in quarter one of the opening game in Group A. Here we go then, quarter two. And Indonesia 
with a surprising six point lead as Kim gets it into the half court for Korea. Just need to spend time with the ball, set good screens. Down screen for the three is no good. And they just don't need to take, they'll get the three anytime they want. You do not need to take it off one pass. Great work on the glass though. Yang comes straight into the game to rebound. And Kim gets his second three. Beautiful stroke. BT land elephant guard with back-to-back -back threes. Great effort to save it, and just by sheer effort, Lakadu draws a foul, which uh, when he's lost possession here was a million miles away. But once he's on the floor, you can't dive on him. So, 14-second reset. Indonesia have it on the end line. Lakadu. Gets the action off the screen. Rita moves it on. The three is short, way short. Great save. But Korea, all it does is give them a chance to run. That's... Galita's going to be lucky if this is not an unsportsmanlike foul. Contact from behind in a, in a break situation. Doesn't matter if it's a little clumsy. And I think the referee is going to talk about it. Wonder if they have the replay situation. The three. This is where the teamwork for officials. Yeah, they're going to have to have a look. As I say, I'll be very surprised if this is not a unsportsmanlike foul. Let's take a look. He's off in running, and the con there's no there's no genuine attempt to play the ball from behind, albeit slightly on the side. But week in week out, I think that warrants an unsportsmanlike foul. However, I'm a long, long way away from the from the call. The ball's in the right hand. The contact is not an a, an attempt to play the basketball has to be an unsportsmanlike foul as far as the way the interpretation is at the moment. Super start to this second quarter by Korea. They get the three, they get a stop, they're in transition. They could have the chance to take two and still have possession. Yeah. The unsportsmanlike foul. And Galita. So Korea will go to the free throw line to make this a one-point game. Foul number two for Golita. He does not need to be in foul trouble. So important to Indonesia's chances in the game. Back to those bank free throws. Made the first last time. Nakion. There you go. Twenty-seven to twenty-six, superstar for Korea. A chance to lead on this possession. Kim, little pick and short roll is good for two. Kang gets his feet set really quickly. And that's a 7-0 start. The three to answer is nailed from deep. And that's our report. Galita is way outside the three-point line. Just stroked it. Opens the account in quarter two. Wow. Nahu Kim. His third three of the night. Now we're talking head-to-head -head stuff. That's a blocking foul. This new draws the contact. And Indonesia have done a really super job at making this great game a little disjointed, making this game a little frantic, keeping the tempo high, which is forcing Korea into situations they just don't feel happy in. The, the foul situation is not good for them. Nice inbound pass. Reverse layup is blocked. Yang with the blockers. Indonesia tried to run. The three in transition is sweet. Oh, so 
Gasol with the three. The one thing Indonesia, I just do not believe they'll be able to do is come back from a big deficit. So they've got to keep ticking it over. Radukus gets in the lane. Can't get it to go. Great ball fake. The flyby for the long two is back of the ring time. And Korea now. Five on three break. The open three on the end of it is good. Moon Song Yong with the three on the end of the break. And Korea have found some rhythm early in the second quarter. Indonesia will take their second time out. And that's Korean basketball. The tempo is sweeter. Build on their defense, run the floor, get a numerical advantage. They need it 37 to 30. 7.30 to go in the half. Indonesia with the timeout. That is a monumental start to the second quarter, 16 to three in two and a half minutes. Career have just exploded at the start of this second quarter. In, you know, really inspired by Kim Nakion with the threes and his bank free throws. He has eight of those 16 points as he has ignited a second quarter surge by Korea, just re-establishing the order of things, should we say. But Indonesia, the reality is they trail by seven, they have the basketball, they have around 3,000 fans, and they've shown that they can compete here. They've just got to keep making shots, which is very easy to say, but they've got that ability. Brad Suara restored at the timeout. Galita gets a matchup he can exploit. Short corner jump shot is good. Gets the mismatch, penetrates, and Kim and Vincent Koshashi knocks down the corner jumper. Ball knocked away. And uh, his new couldn't have been aware because he could have easily recovered the basketball. 11 seconds on the possession. Just under seven to go in the half. Oh, great little cut for the easy two. And Indonesia, this is where they've got to stay relentless in your effort. It's too easy a out of bounds play. Kick, his new lands it up, puts it on the floor, gets inside. It's everybody in there, has to throw it out. And the spacing. For the first time, Indonesia starts to stand still on penetration. Have to keep that movement. So I'll turn over. Two out of bounds plays to just sum up the problem. One resulted in the two from a Korean out of bounds and turnover the other way. Nine point game, they have to stop the bleeding right now. Everything's gone a little sloppy. Miz New going baseline, tries to barrel there. Nice pass. Great rotation. Great defensive effort by Korea. They have a four on two, four on three break here. Stop. Go inside. Great break again. Yoo Kun Jim Min gets the two. And it's all Korea in this second quarter. They lead it by 11. And now everybody's in the pass lane. And it's turnover almost again. And the problem is just intensity. The problem is just playing at a level for a whole game. I'm not sure if Indonesia, uh, Korea are playing that much better. Indonesia have just dropped one notch. And that's all it takes at this level. Otsawa. Comes off the screen, looks to reverse, now gets in the lane, turns it over, no one moved again. Korea at the races, ball's knocked away, but will stay with Korea.
No timeouts left for Indonesia. But Korea, I would say surprisingly, take the timeout. They have every piece of momentum going their way. They're on the end line, just scored easily out of bounds. And they have Indonesia on the ropes here. They take a timeout. They lead it 43 to 32. It's a 22 to five second quarter. Field goal percentages for Korea going in the right direction. For Indonesia, obviously going in the wrong direction. 26 points at the 43 off the Korean bench. And uh, Kim Nak Hyun responsible for a large chunk of both momentum and points off the Korean bench. That timeout by Korea could give Indonesia the chance to just refocus, regroup, remind themselves how well they did in that first quarter. Turn the corner off the down screen. Second step is big. Great work on the glass. Kang Sang Jae gets the put back, and you can talk about size all you want, but you still need the effort. And his effort on the glass was just outstanding. Great read, another turnover. Easy two. Young Jassa. And the wheels have well and truly come off in this second quarter for Indonesia. Kala penetrates the open three in the corner, simply has to go, no good, chance again. And Korea smelling a, an opportunity to put this one away. Nice trowel for two. Yance Sok again beats his opponent down the floor, gets the easy finish, and with 4.30 to go, Korea one shy of 50. Sara moves it on. That's better movement away from the basketball. Torres goes up, he's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. And Kevin Satoris did on that play what Indonesia were doing in the whole of the first quarter the penetration the movement away from the ball gave the ball carrier options mass substitutions for Korea Torres on the free throw line simply has to make these got to build some momentum going into the half ideal world for Indonesia cut this to a 10 point single digit game and you are right back in it but that seems a really tough ask at the moment. Satoris on the free throw line. Smooth looking release, even though it's a little short and sharp. Makes the first. And two for two from the line. Well, that's the first thing done. Tick the scoreboard over, now you need stop to build that momentum. Yahoo back in the game. Post entry, no help. Rishi Sok goes up, is fouled and will go to the free throw line. Yang Ye Sok has had a really nice impact in this second quarter, been very active. No help from the help side for Indonesia on that occasion. Keyway was empty. So, Josak had more than enough opportunity to create. Makes the first from the free throw line. And Korea to the 50 point mark. Still four minutes to go. 
And that's Indonesia's biggest issue here. They have to try to get stops. Korea have just had too many opportunities to run points in transition. So if they can get stops and then score, that will slow the tempo down. And it has to start now. Four minutes to try and get some momentum going into the half. Mastawa restored, needs the ball, gets the ball. And options both play. Now gets the switch, wants to attack it, shoots the three, is no good. Offensive rebounds, the choice goes up. A little hesitation as he almost fumbled it. Gave the opportunity to draw the contact. He goes back to the free throw line, and Satoris at the moment just outworking anybody that's guarding him. Yang Jay Sock picks up the personal. Chance to cut this to a 15 point game. Three and a half to go in the half. First free, his first free throw of the evening. Again, the rhythm for Korea is building. A lot of rhythm to what they're doing there. Nice pass to the inside. Little hang time on the jumper for Yang Jae Sok. He picks up yet another two points, and he is dominant. So, uh, extra pass open for the three is long. And that was better though from Indonesia. Threaded the open look. They go again in transition to the front of the ring. AJ Sock gets it off. Comes out to screen. Mid range. The two off the glass is no good. Asawa comes down with the rebound as there are bodies all over the floor. Mopman's in quick. Good to see. I'm sure he does a very thorough job. Substitution coming in off the Indonesia bench. Having to take those two timeouts, possibly a little earlier than Coach Karam Taroman would have wanted. Just giving him an issue here as this game has slipped away from him in the second quarter. on email poor pass good rotation but poor pass second trailer it goes right back everyone's touched it attack the close out but two is no good well it's super basketball but you've got to finish the play yang has shock couldn't finish the layup and indonesia trying to take a little bit of air out the ball a little bit but again and the offense stands still. And the Korean defense is as active as it has been in this second quarter. It's just turning the ball over, or close to turning the ball over almost on every pass. Foul on the plate. Simulang. Sawa moves it on. And they miss the extra pass. Balita goes up. Nothing's falling for him at all. Again, transition basketball for Korea. They skip it. Corner wide open for three. is short. But they're on the glass. Chance to make this a 20-point game on this possession. Yong Hoon. Well, that's a poor pass. Great rotation from the Indonesian defense. But Hyo uh, Hoon has got to read that. Three people dive to defend the roller. And even my map just works out. There's two people open. Eswawa just about survives with the basketball. Alita is blocked, but contact on the drive, and Koreans remonstrate. 
but uh, it mean absolutely nothing. Well, there's the block was clear, but there's a lot of bo body contact. Hence the call. Yang Hong Siok picks up the personal as Garita makes the first of the three throws. Would have stopped the bleeding. Now they've got to repair the damage, Indonesia. They've been around this sort of margin for a while. Good from the free throw line, back to a 16 point game. Korea are going to take their second time out. Again, only nine points off the Indonesian bench. Just great contribution off the Korean bench. 22 points in the in the paint. And that was to be expected. The improvement in the field goal percentages from Korea from the three-point line has been a real difference maker in this second quarter. As has their ability to score in transition. zero in points in transition for Korea. I'd probably argue there's, they've scored more. It depends where you draw the line in transition in fast break. Last minute of the first half. More energy defensively from Indonesia coming out of that timeout. The open three is short. Defensive rebound pulled in. Uh, Moon Sion settled for the three as opposed to work for the three. Bala. Just hung the pass out to dry. Just such a slow looping pass. The spacing offensively was poor, but the pass was just asking to be stolen. Nine seconds remain on the possession. Korean defense is just on the front foot on every possession. Asawa puts it on the floor. Only three on the shot. And to really underline the issue in this second quarter. Korea generate a 24-second violation. And will hold for the last shot of what's been a... Well, it's, it's been definitely entertaining. It's been up and down. And Indonesia have shown they've got a real opportunity to compete here. You know who puts it on the floor, goes back, real hesitation in the lane, finds the open man for three, is no good. Work on the glass, and they get the put back. And they're going to count it. And that last play just sums up the problem for Indonesia. Ion Hoom with a great penetration. The kick to the open man work on the glass and that leaves us with a 55 to 37 halftime score here in Jakarta as Indonesia trail by 18. Statistically as we said it needed to stay at 50 and 40 it's dropped to 46 and 33 percent whereas the Korean Three-point percentage is now up to 38%. Rebound-wise, there is just no contest on the glass. 25 to 13. 15 assists for Korea. They're sharing the ball so well in that second quarter.
for the national team on the early go on the early possessions throughout the whole first quarter they did a really nice job so with pictures of this uh, halftime entertainment we're going to take a break and we will be back shortly to talk about the second half and can Indonesia get back into this can they give themselves a chance of an upset clearly in the first quarter they showed they could play with Korea We've got to do it all again and we'll be back in around eight minutes or so to talk about the second half we'll see you then
Guillaume, as we said, 12 points, 3 assists, 3 rebounds, the number 4. Really did have a super impact on the game coming off the bench. And now will be the case just trying to manage the game, trying to get something out of the game. This is a long process, the, the three competition windows. This one in February, get back together in November in 2020 then. Obviously, the final qualification window in February next year. Then for Indonesia, they're going to hopefully 
if they don't make the top two in this group, will be pushing for that third place so they can go for the additional qualification group ahead of the Asia, Asia Cup Championships. Top two go through as of right. Interesting to get a look at uh, Derek Xaviero, the young star, is still only 16 years old, but two meters three worth his weight in gold for this uh, Indonesian national team. And obviously three and a half years time when he will be just short of his 20th birthday could be a factor for Indonesia as they are one of the joint hosts of the 2023 World Cup alongside the Philippines and Japan. So two agendas for Indonesia. 88th ranked team in world basketball. We've got to improve that ranking. In three and a half years time, they will welcome some of the world's best to Indonesia alongside the Philippines and Japan as they co-host the biggest basketball event in the world. So, just over a minute to go before we start this third quarter. For Indonesia, the task is so, 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 so straightforward to talk about. Get this to a 10-point game by the end of the third quarter and you have a real shot for Korea. You're thinking, let's just play our game. Let's just keep this under control. Let's not go back to the first quarter where they ended up chasing Indonesian players in the half court. Try and keep your man in front of you. Try and maintain our structure. And this should be a game that they will be able to work their way through and get ready for game day two. Indonesia, on the other hand, are going to want to make this a little bit scrappy, a little bit frantic. Well, there's two things they can do straight away. One is they can box out. They've just got into jumping competitions on the glass. That's only ever going to be won by Korea. So if they start by boxing out, they start by limiting the Koreans to one and out then they have a chance of getting back into this. Well, welcome back. Hope you've uh, had some refreshment and are ready to go again. Second half of game day one of the FIBA Asia Cup here in Jakarta. Indonesia with the first look. Get a shot you want. Get some momentum. Baseline penetration backed out. Jimiling will, cross-court pass has got to be sharper. Nice drive to the hoop for two. And they couldn't complete the play. The ball's loose, and there's a foul mid-court. Well, if you're just in the locker room, you'd have said, let's get to the hoop, let's get a high percentage shot. Well, they did that. Blew it. So, Korea through there. The scramble. The open three is good, and they're in rhythm now. The old Song Hen gets his feet set and stroked it. They never had a look like that in the first quarter. And in their time, penetration into a lot of traffic, needs a pass, desperately, finally finds one. Great rotation defensively. Yong Ming goes inside with a pass, little trowel for two is sweet. And Kim Jong Hu just keeps adding to his personal tally. Well, this is where the Korean defense smell the steal. The three is good. Astuala brings it back to 20. Stolen, quick hands, back to the first quarter, got a foul on the loose ball. 
And the color, Pastawa by Osaka. So let's just go with uh, Pastawa that he likes to be known as. Gets it in the backcourt, moves it on. Galita, his backcourt partner. Combination was so effective early. Pastawa gets in the lane, kicks the open three from the corner. Is good. And Caleb Gemalang. Gives some hope to the fans here. Goes to six points personal. All about the penetration. Korea tried to space. They dive. We've got a whistle on the play. It's a super duck in by uh, Kim Yong Kai. Once you let him get position, there's no way you're going to be able to reach and deny. You've got to put your body there. Korea, four out, one in, trying to create space to attack. The tough three from the corner is no good. Defensive rebound is hauled in by Osashi. So, crowd willing, Kevin. Torres to take the three. There's better three-point shooters out of here's one of them. That's long though. As uh Atta. I'm gonna wipe that off. Foul was on the floor. Right, Atta. There's a replay of the foul. Gets in position. That's all you, that's what you have to try and do. You can't try and compete without your body being in the right place and he's just a little late there got in front made it tough for the catch we come in to the hoop for two Lee Sung Yeon adds to a personal tally Indonesia trying to work their way back into this penetration with no help for the easy two and if you can break down the defense at the point of the offense, as in one-on-one, -on -one, at the minute, Korea is just not believing that's happening, so there's no help. That's a great defensive effort. That's super defense. Stayed in stance, didn't take the little jab step. Watch this. Doesn't take the fake to the baseline. Moves in stance. And Gahita. Picks up the offensive foul. Chance to, again, eat into the lead. Step back for the three. Needs to go and does. Mustawa takes the three. And Korea want to talk about this before it becomes a momentum swing. It's an 11-7 start. To this third quarter for Indonesia it's back to a 14 point game and the one thing that Korea do not want is to get into a scrap on the road gonna try and re-establish control around let's try and get a high percentage shot but more importantly than that let's do not let Indonesia generate any momentum at the offensive end so Indonesia up the floor at the 
after the timeout. Mid-range two is good. And Kim Yong Kiai is just establishing some numbers tonight. Goes to nine now as numbers across the stat sheet. Eater steps back, goes up, tries to draw the contact. That's really good by Lee Shang Hyung not to get into the situation of fouling the jump shoot. They take the prayer from beyond the arc, hits nothing. Great defensive series by Korea, just would not get turned. And again, that's a holding foul away from the basketball. And again, we'll. That foul is supposed to have not been allowed anymore. That's supposed to be. If there's not, if you're not looking at the basketball, and if you're holding, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting interpretation. The open three fired up from the wing is good for Du Kang Yang Min. Kang Min stroked it. Everything in a straight line and Korea establishing normal service after the timeout. The three-pointer from the corner is no good. Hits the side of the backboard, chance to run. Korea trying to generate that pace into the game as well. Nice find on the end of the break. The open three is good. Three in the corner on the left, three in the corner on the right. Young Song here with the second of those three and all of a sudden, what was 14? It's now 22, an 8-0 run following the timeout. But a holding foul. And Indonesia have to do it all again. Twenty-two point margin, as we say, it was 14. 8-0 run. Straight through the legs of the of Satoris. Well, now it's all fun. Now it's all kiss. Skip it around. The open three. Three in a row. They take the timeout. They're up 14. It takes Indonesia three, four possessions. They have to take one for themselves because now they trail by 25 points. That's a great run by Korea. The inside out. The defense gets sucked in. And Du Kyung Min with his second three in that little period following the timeout. And Indonesia back in a very deep hole. So can Indonesia have the same impact as Korea did after the timeout? They need, they desperately need a little 12-0 run here to get back into this. They have the weapons, it's whether they can get the stops. 4.26 to go in quarter three. Slower backs out. Now he has a matchup. You know he's going to try and penetrate against this. People have to move, and no one did. Second step, they get the pass off. Extra pass, wide open. They take the long two, is way short. Get their own rebound, though. Little push shot in the lane is no good for Jemalang. And they got what they wanted, even though. Astawa created all sorts of opportunities with his pen penetration. 
Wies New stood still. That was the biggest problem they had in the corner on the ball side. And they've just got to move off the basketball. In the end, they got the, the Korean defense chasing, missed two wide open looks, and then they foul out of frustration as much as anything else, which gives Korea another opportunity to increase the margin. Makes the second. Mizunu has it, has to give it up. Have to get it over here. Just about beat the eight second count. Mizunu on the penetration, turns it over. Not really where he would be putting it on the floor. Down the lane for two is good. And one to come. There's the foul. You would expect Derek uh, Dalero to get some floor time here for Indonesia, the 16 year old. Not seeing the floor at the moment. Margin now is 29 points. Don't forget it was. That's a 15 0 run. Korea following their timeout. And you got to say, Coach uh, Kim Song Sheik recognized the situation. His team had lost a little intensity. One timeout, reminding him what the level they expected themselves as much as anything else. Gets a great response. And Korea kick on again. Sawa steps back for the long three. And that's a settle for a three, not a move to get a three. Great recovery. But the ball will stay with Korea with still 19 seconds on the possession. off to come in nice pass to the inside for Kim Young Kai to get the two nice flash to the high post inside out the three is gone is long defensive rebound off the Gemalang miss game going very stretched three on the end of the break and with no pressure on them, Korea are starting just filling, filling it up from the three-point line. The Xiong Xiong hands turn to knock down the three. Skip pass. His new goes up, blocked, going up again, working hard for it on the glass. Doesn't get the roll. And then fouls out of frustration. Well, we talked about the challenge that Indonesia would have just on the physicality side of things, just on size against a Korea team that has so much more inside length and physicality than Indonesia. You know Indonesia are going to find answers to this over the next three and a half years. But meanwhile, they've got... 225 of the third to go plus the whole of the fourth quarter and they are down 34 points and we're back to uh, the three throw line first one is good for yang hong siok siok another member of one of, of the uh, sonic boom club love that name 
Certain symmetry to the scoreline now, 48 to 84. And more substitutions coming in off the Korean bench. Full court pressure. This new going up. Can't get the finish. And the ball's out of bounds and it will belong to Korea. This new's got to be a little bit smarter than that. You can't just try and take it over a defense that you can't get over, basically. Strong move, intent was good. Had the option to kick, tried to muscle his way to the ring. Defense too big, too strong, too quick. Pass out of the double team. Flash to the inside is good. Little hang time for Yang Jae Suk, who's impressed, the 29 year old. A sock to the free throw line. Second one is good. And again, Yang Jae Sok impresses off the Korean bench. A little undersized for a center in world terms. Two meters four, but Wisnu turns it over again. Drops it inside. A Sok turns it straight back the other way. But a movement away from the ball. Shemling lifts, looks underneath. This new goes down low. Big range jump shot is no good. Better movement though for Indonesia. Him, Kion moves it on, thinks about the long three, kicks it, nice flare. The open three for the catch and release is no good. Yon Song here, his movement was great. That's Korean basketball, the way they stretch the floor, flare off those uh, little back screens. Nice movement in the corner. Much better on the drop to the inside, and now everything is a little bit not on the same page. It's Koshashi turned down the open look. Three is good. Yon Song Yen had a side up possession before, same spot on the floor, knocks it down. And a 40 point margin now for Korea. Pointless Indonesia since they closed it to a 14 point game. It's a long, long time ago. And somehow the ball gets out one. Well, Sashi will go to the free throw line for the extra. And that literally is the first points in six minutes. If you go right back to the timeout and then the, the reply timeout by Indonesia, they had a wide open look at the hoop, missed that. And from that point on, this game just slipped right away. Still, last 15 seconds of the third quarter. Eon comes off the screen. Needs a pass. Nice find. Open three in the corner. He's good. Eon, Eon, Eon. Gets the last points of the third quarter. And Indonesia trail 91 to 51 at the end of three. Second half of that third quarter was token dominance by Korea. Challenged by a little comeback by Indonesia to close it to a 14 point game. One timeout, every problem solved, everything steps up against 63 and 52 percent for Korea from the two and the three point line against 35 and 33. 
It now looks like the 30th ranked team playing the 88th ranked team. It's the best way to sum it up. And it's not about the quality of Indonesia dropping. Korea has just stepped it up. In particular, have stepped it up at the defensive end, which has given them a lot of opportunities to run in transition. And now it's one-way traffic. The three ball is falling because they're taking open threes. They've always got the inside space and they share the ball really, really nicely. So are we still creating problems for the Korean defense? What he hasn't got though is as many pass options as he had in quarter one. So dominance by Korea in this one at the moment, 40 point margin, 91 to 51. This is where you shift your objectives. Korea will want to ensure they maintain their level. For Indonesia, still got another game in this window at home against the, the Philippines, which won't be any easier than this. The Philippines ranked 31 in the world. But one, they'll be wanting to try and get themselves ready to give themselves a chance to make the finals, the Asia Cup final round. And two, they have that longer term agenda of three and a half years time for the World Cup. There's no such thing as a dead game, a dead situation. In the use, they come up with still first possession out of the double team. It goes up off the glass and just doesn't get the roll. And Jalita just couldn't get it to go. The three is no good the other way. It's bouncing around on the inside. The ball will go back to Indonesia as everybody seems to get a piece of that. Nice job in the first quarter, gets the pass off. Great little finish by Galita. Finger roll down the lane for two. Yo Hoon back at the point. Has it, will take the full screen from Kang Sang Jae. Yang Jae Sok to the middle. He'll push shot off the glass for two. Looks at the referee, doesn't need any help from the man in grey. Lukudu turns the corner, looks inside, tries to bounce pass in, draws the contact, and Lukudu has had a nice impact again, the 27-year-old. Only 1 meter 78, so he's challenged vertically, should we say. But he really does a nice job at keeping this team on the same page. Coach. Sang Shik doesn't like what he's seen, takes the early time out in the fourth period. One and a half minutes in because Korea's just dropped off the intensity defensively. I'm sure he's going to make that point. Up to around 50% from the three point line. Play up the little finger roll down the middle for Gaita, who's had a really nice game. And Gaita is, uh, there's, there's, a, there's one or two players on this Indonesian team that will be looking at the World Cup in 2023 and seeing what an opportunity that's going to be for them. And they'll want to be competitive by the time they get there. And there's Lakudu. 
looks underneath, has no pass, gets a lift on the wing, Gahita goes inside with a pass, great change of mind, they just about get it away, Korea have a chance to run, and immediately impact after the timeout, defense just a step quicker. They sock will hand off, they take the long three and just fit it up. Yo, Hoon. Sweet release. Wide open in the corner, turn down the three, go to the inside, We've got a foul. On the floor as... Uh, Toshaki. Uh, should just... Before he could get it up, foul was committed by Song Ko Chang. Go to the long side, out of bounds. Think about the three, that's a blocking foul. Wasn't really moon for... Uh, Guitar to penetrate, but uh, managed to find some space to draw the contact. Be the third team foul for Korea. Go long, out of bounds. The Kadu. Gahita on a curl. Challenge the defense on the square out. Now gets a little separation. Puts it on the floor, needs to create. Goes to the glass, doesn't get a finish. Ball hit the ring, surely. Little penetration, look at for two. But the referees and the players did a good job ignoring the buzzer. There's the handoff. Hyohun. Sock is short. Defensive rebound, collected chance for Indonesia with uh, Lakudu. It'll set things up. Gets the handoff. Song goes up. He's always going to get blocked, but he recovers it. And he tarries blocked on the three-point line. Chance to run the other way. Tremendous length by Gian Jean Bion. Open three and transition his way short. And everything will slow down as Wicker Song collects it. Akuda gets it back. Settles for the ball screen. Needs a pass. Drops it to the high post. Gets the handoff. Blue puts it on the floor. Breaks the defense down. And you can see what he was trying to do. Just couldn't manufacture a pass. Obviously the key for Indonesia is to get some type of breakdown from Korea on ball and once they get that breakdown they have opportunity if you're Korean here you're worried about your, your defensive rotations because there are too many open looks coming out of those rotations for Indonesia Korea will have higher aspirations than a win over Indonesia here the two is no good defensive rebound pulled in and Lakuji gets Indonesia into the half court That's going to be offensive, the timing was off. And as much as... Under six to go. Kayun's back. Open release off the down screen. And Gion Jean Bion. Jean Bion makes the three. Good execution off the down screen. Gets his feet set, knocks down the three. And Korea one made shot away from 100 points, and there's still five minutes to go. Blocked. Well, here probably comes that 100. Three on two break. They settle for the three on the end of it. It's short. Defensive rebound pulled in by Wickasson. Aita pushes. I'm not sure if they're going to give it. Well, I think they have given it. Gaita picks. They're going to call it offensive if it comes up as Gaita. 
That's obviously incorrect. Gahita's going to... Oh, they gave it good. One to come. Gahita. This will make it 20 points personal on the game. She does. So has over a third of his team's points, and he's been simply superb. Career in the half court. Open three is good. Moon Si Yong gone. Everyone joins the three point party for Korea. And that locks up the 100th point, 102.58. Indonesia still hanging those passes out to dry. Look at how it makes the nice pass to the corner wide open for three is good. And Jaita just continues to impress. 23 points personal. Shooting nearly 40% from the field in a, in a game that's tough for his team. Nice find on the skip. Three from the corner. It's like throwing it in the ocean at the moment for Korea. Lucian Gong. It's another three, another steal. Release should be an easy two. And is. on who has impressed the whole game, picks up another two. Lakudu breaks the defense down again. Nice find, the open three of the Lakudu penetration again. This time it's uh, Jean, Mel Jean-Gy who can't get the three to drop, but a lot of joy out of the three penetration. Well, they've missed the three. First three they've missed in a while. And we've got a reaching foul by Moon Siong Gong. Moon Song Gong picks up the personal. Three minutes to go in the game. And that's... Uh, Maybe he didn't want to run back on defense. Eita, the man of the game for Indonesia on the free throw line, makes a the first. And again, increases his personal tally. It won't mean much. Well, it won't mean a lot for Grahita, Grahita in the terms of the game here. That's 25 points personal. Substitution for Indonesia. Pesawat checks back in. Nice dive, super timing on the pass. The release for three is short for Moon Siongong. Put the offensive rebound against here. Penetration kick off the glass for two is no good. And Kim Yayong can't get it to drop. Akayon has been impressive, though. Luke will take the handoff. Good things have happened since he's been in the game. Nice find off the down screen for three is good. And you've got to say that Akudu is making life a lot easier for his teammates. His distribution of the ball is incredibly good. Sawa gets the three. All about the quality on the pass. 12 points personal for Sawa. Two sixteen to go in the first game of this group on game day one of the FIBA Asia Cup. While well, we've got a moment on the free throw line, download the app, the Asia Cup app. Every bit of information. Check out how well Korea has shot the basketball in this game. See the highlights of any game and every game, all for free. Shower 
feels the pressure, gets the ball off. Little handle, step through, it goes up, draws contact. And the guard will go to the free throw line. I think that's telling you who's coming into the game. Let's just check that before we get too carried away. Sixteen-year-old. Next big story of Indonesian basketball. Severo. Two meters three. Checks in. Crowd have been good the way they've stayed positive with the team here. Really good support from the home fans. Under two to go. Game day one. First game of the group in Korea. Are taking care of business here. Pass down low. Yang goes off the glass. Defensive rebound. As though he's just won a championship. Galero picks up a positive stat. If he scores, I don't know if we'll be able to deal with the noise. He's going to screen, he's going to dive, he wants the ball on the inside, doesn't get a touch, they're going to line up the three, is good. And Satoris, who's another crowd favourite here, knocks down the three. Career pretty much five out at the moment. Trying to split the floor. It's Siok. It's it on the floor. Breaks it down. Nice pass. Inside out. Wide open. Three is long. Defensive rebound. Chance to run. Crowd just willing their team on. And it's like having a coach in the crowd because the uh, really arrow was wide open underneath and they passed it up. And one. Doris with back-to-back -back threes will peel himself off the floor and go to the free throw line. It's just a, this crowd is just living it. This is any indication of what the atmosphere is going to be like here in 2023. It's going to be a great place to watch World Cup for of basketball. Torres goes to stays on 11. Gets his own rebound. Moves it on. We take the three. Can't get it to drop. Star up. They come down the other way. The three is way short. Get another rebound for Zerero. This crowd is desperate for Rivero to get the basketball. Doesn't need it on that occasion. Because Prestawa gets the two. Nice little finish here by Indonesia. That'll do it. Knowledgeable, passionate fans have had a disappointing result. But they've had a great time here supporting Indonesia. They came up short after a great first quarter. Korea take care of business on game day one. They will get the win here on the road in Jakarta, 109-76. Solid performance by Korea. They shot the three-point shot really well. Indonesia at times found a way to compete, just could not do it for the full 40. The crowd was exceptional where they stayed with their team in the middle of a 30-40 point margin. Korea go on to game day two. They thank their traveling fans. And Korea across the roster performed incredibly well. So, we're going to look at the statistics in a second.
And that was a super performance by Korea. Professional, controlled, they did what they had to do. Coaching staff did a really nice job when their own standards dropped. Just took the time out, re-established what Korean basketball was all about. And then their team went and executed it. What you can say about Indonesia is that they forced them to raise their level. That was a super performance. Here are the statistics. 38 and 39 for Indonesia, way down on what they needed to be against 55 and 50. Free throw line, both teams did a reasonable job. Indonesia did a great job in the line. 43 to 30, the reason the rebound gap is no wider is that Korea just made so many shots and shot so well.